It's really hard to figure out what to do on a first date, or a second date, or even a 50th date if you've been dating someone for a while. I'm Maggie from Inverse, and I'm gonna tell you three science-approved date ideas that are gonna rock your oxytocin. All right, so in order to talk about love, we have to talk about the love hormone. It's called oxytocin. It makes you form attachments to people, like your romantic partners or your kids, and it makes you feel less stressed. Your body releases oxytocin when you touch somebody that you really like or when you look into their eyes. Researchers from Baylor University in February 2019 published this study in the Journal of Marriage and Family. They sent 20 heterosexual couples on dates. Half of them played a board game that they've played before and the other half went to an art class and they painted this like pretty little beach scene, super sappy. The scientists thought that everybody was gonna like the board game better because they would be interacting, they'd be looking at each other. That's not what happened. Plot twist, stay with me. So men who took the art class released twice as much oxytocin as any of the other groups and men who play board games release the least amount of oxytocin. Women release more or less the same amount of oxytocin in each activity, but a little bit more playing the board games. Okay, so here's why. So men said that the art class was a new activity for them. And the couples in the art class also touched each other more. They put their arms around each other. They said things like, you're doing so great. This looks amazing. Versus in the board game, they were really just focusing on playing the game rather than on each other. Okay, so if you want even more of an oxytocin boost, scientists from the University of Buffalo and the University of California at Irvine published the study in the journal Hormones and Behavior in March 2013. They found that people that volunteer release a ton of oxytocin and it makes them feel less stressed and super happy. So to recap, when you're planning your next date night, don't just sit on the couch, go to your same bar that you always go to. Try rock climbing, try going to a cooking class, taking a hike, something like that. Something new and exciting and challenging is gonna help you release more oxytocin and feel more connected to your partner. And your body also releases oxytocin when you hear your partner speak, when you look at them, when you touch them. So as long as you guys are interacting and communicating, you're gonna have a great time. I'm Maggie from Inverse, and I wanna know what's a date night activity that's worked for you? Leave a comment below and let us know. And ring the bell. Which way is this way?